can really see this week how much Mike has grown in his job duties and his responsibilities and really his impact on this this top 100. Mike's been doing very well I think. I mean uh, we were expecting to have a little bit uh, a little bit smoother of a time I guess. Uh, the first couple days were kind of rough. I mean we set a pretty pretty brisk pace and it's hard for him sometimes I think to uh, sort of keep up. I haven't slept in four days. This is a lot of hard work. We spend a lot of time going through these applications. We're up early, we're up late. You know, we don't get to eat a lot. You know, the only time we really get to eat, you know, Mike made us lunch today and you know, it wasn't all that great really. He tries, you know, it's, it's from morning to, to night we're, we're on the, we're on the uh, job and he's not used to that, you know. We've asked him to do a couple things, maybe help out with the meals and stuff doesn't cook that well, frankly. I mean, I haven't really said anything about it, but it's kind of tough when you're hungry all the time because the food is just a little bit, it's not, it's not that bad, but it's just not quite what I was expecting. We, we spent a lot of money on some steaks the other day and they were just ruined. And it was very disappointing kind of way to end the day. These guys have been, you know, giving me a, a little razzing, but but then, you know, they, they do nice stuff for me too. Like the other night, my eyes were kind of starting to hurt um, after Matt went to bed. And so he let me use the nightlight so I could read the applications. It's been fun. It, it's been more work than, um, than I expected. I, I kind of thought we'd, we'd get up here and, you know, it'd be a, a fun sort of bonding time. And I think it has been for those two. Um, I haven't really been in, included in all the activities. I, I'm kind of hopeful, you know, maybe day five, um, they might let me go out on the boat. Um, they did. They did let me uh, participate a little bit. Uh, they allowed me to to tie it up, which which was nice. And and Matt even gave me the keys and let me um, put it on the lift, which was which was kind of nice. Mike's been doing okay. I mean, there's some things that I was a little worried about, and for the most part, he's answered those questions for me. I mean, I think. Some of the effort has been a little bit lacking at some times, but that's just natural because, you know, it's his first time and he doesn't know how hard we work when we come to something like this. And, you know, it really takes kind of a special person to be able to f go for three or four or even five days with not much sleep. You know, we don't eat really all that well, kind of like sitting inside looking at applications all day. And, you know, it just breaks a person down after a while. And I thought he'd hold up a little bit better than he has, but... He's tried and... You know, Matt, Matt said, uh, you know, phone calls, you know, wa are wasting time. He's measuring my efficiency. Um, you know, hours read over hours we've been here and, and right now I'm only, I'm only tracking like 95%. We, we, we tried to get through to him that we need to, to attain a certain level of efficiency if you want a certain number of hours of sleep. And that's really kind of the award, the reward that, that we were able to offer him for this week. And, you know, it's modeled a little bit after the, uh, the dealers that we're, we're learning about this week. You know, when, you, when you're up here, it's, it's about work and it's about bearing down and getting things done. And, you know, if you can't do that, well, maybe you're not cut out for this, uh, this sort of retreat. This isn't all fun and games. This is some serious business where we're trying to we're trying to select the best of the best, and in order to do that, you have to be the best of the best.